Hello everyone, my name is Iris Franz and today we are going to talk about absolute advantage and comparative advantage. So the difference between the two is this. The definition of absolute advantage is the ability to produce a good more efficiently. So with the same resource you can produce more, then you are more efficient. And the definition of comparative advantage is this. The ability to produce a good at a lower opportunity cost. So once you realize the difference between the two definitions, you will not get them confused. So we're going to start with an example. Um, so we have two countries, the USA and China, and we have only two goods, ibuprofen, so that's a kind of painkiller measured in bottles, and the other good is shoes. So suppose in one labor hour, the US can produce either 10 bottles of ibuprofen or five pairs of shoes. And in the same labor hour, China can produce either two bottles of ibuprofen or two pairs of shoes. So, the first question is, which country has an absolute advantage in the production of ibuprofen? So, we see which country can produce ibuprofen more efficiently, then that country has an absolute advantage in the production of ibuprofen. So, we can see in one labor hour, the U.S. can produce 10 bottles of ibuprofen, Whereas, China can only produce two bottles of ibuprofen. So 10 is bigger than 2. We say that U.S. has an absolute advantage in the production of ibuprofen. So what about shoes? So let's write out USA here first. What about shoes? You can see in one labor hour, the U.S. can produce five pairs of shoes, whereas China can produce only two pairs of shoes. So 5 is bigger than 2. So we know that U.S. has an absolute advantage in the production of shoes. So that one is still relatively straightforward. What is a little bit more complicated will be comparative advantage. So suppose the next question asks you, which country has a comparative advantage in the production of ibuprofen? Now we go back to our definition. You have a comparative advantage if you're able to produce the good at a lower opportunity cost. So to answer that question, we will have to calculate the opportunity cost of ibuprofen production for both USA and China. So what is the opportunity cost of a bottle of ibuprofen in terms of shoes in the US? Now most students find it more challenging because they don't know if you should divide 10 by 5 or divide 5 by 10. So here's a key. If you have two goods, A and B, and you're trying to calculate the opportunity cost of good A, then you're going to treat good B as a currency. Here's an example. We're trying to calculate the opportunity cost of ibuprofen. So we're going to treat shoes as currency. Okay? So suppose you go to a store and you want to buy ibuprofen, right? We want to know the cost of, of ibuprofen. So you ask the uh, um, owner of the shop, what is the cost of ibuprofen in your shop? And the owner tells you, the cost of 10 bottles of ibuprofen is $5. Look, you treat that as a currency. So after listening to that, you say, hey, 10 bottles of ibuprofen cost $5. What is the cost of one bottle of ibuprofen? Now it's very clear, we divide 5 by 10, right? Because 5 is a currency. So here is the same. The opportunity cost of ibuprofen, you know, is 5 divided by 10 in the US, and that gives you a half. Now don't forget that it is actually a pair of shoes. So you put a half pair of shoes. So the opportunity cost of one bottle of ibuprofen is a half pair of shoes in the US. What about China? So it's the same. You treat the other good as currency. Suppose you're in China and you go to the store, you want to buy a bottle of ibuprofen and they tell you the cost of two bottles of ibuprofen is two dollars. So you divide two by two to get the cost of ibuprofen. So here in China is two divided by two and you get one. Don't forget to change the currency back to your shoes. So the opportunity cost of ibuprofen in China is one pair of shoes. 
Now, it's obvious that a half is lower than one. So now it's clear which country has a comparative advantage in the production of ibuprofen. That will be the U.S. Uh, here. U.S. has a comparative advantage in the production of ibuprofen because their opportunity cost of the production of ibuprofen is lower. A half a pair of shoes compared to one pair of shoes in China. So, um, what about the comparative advantage in the production of shoes? I'm going to tell you the answer is China, but I want you to please leave this as a homework. So, in order to tell which country has a comparative advantage in the production of shoes, again, you have to calculate the opportunity cost, right? And I will just tell you the answer. The opportunity cost of shoes in U.S. is two bottles of ibuprofen and in China is one bottle of ibuprofen. And that is lower than that. And I want you to do the calculation yourself as a homework. So um, thank you for watching and good luck with your studying.